808 hours. In other words, the stream has been up for 33 full days. Kinda. It's been an unbelievable two months, and I can't express enough in words how much I appreciate everyone popping by and saying hi to Frankie, the Atlas Beetle. Unfortunately, with Frankie's passing, the stream will go on hiatus, but don't leave because we're going to talk about the future of this channel and its 24-7 live streams. But first, we must address the biggest thing on my mind, and that is whether or more like how the stream affected Frankie's lifespan. Although it's hard to say for sure how old he is, I've had him for nearly three months now, and according to the story, he flew into Japan around April. But from there, we have no clue how old he really is, but conservatively, I'd say about five months because they probably found him after he started looking for food and mates. With that being said, the average lifespan is eight to 12 months, so it's completely possible that his time did come naturally but there were some significant issues with my setup that kind of suggest otherwise like look at how jank this setup is space was no problem there was plenty of sticks and stuff that he can cling on to and make sure he gets propped back up but this 24 7 artificial sun was i think the biggest detriment to my setup and that's because it dried the cage out so much more and quicker than I thought it would which means there was a very good chance that Frankie was dehydrated especially considering he was from a tropical country it's a realization that came too late and something I'll have to keep in mind for the future now another possible issue is the fact that I threw in a couple of kabutomashi around the later half of the stream. At first, I kept a very close eye on whether or not they'd fight because if they do, well, <laughs> Kabutomashi, bye bye. But after reviewing footage and watching them kind of just coexist in that space, it seemed that it wasn't a problem at all. But it's possible that their mere presence was enough to kind of stress Frankie out. Regardless, rest in peace, Frankie. You were a star and you're loved by many friendly folks of the internet, and I hope you watch over me and my future projects. Now let's talk about the challenges of this 24 seven live stream. And I mean, a lot of challenges. Um, as you can see behind me, a lot of streams got segmented into chunks and there is a reason for now, that. Personally, besides the eerie glow of my stream every night before I go to sleep and the plastic scratching sounds from attempted beetle escapes, <laughs> there weren't too many problems on my side, except the electricity bill. That did expectedly go to the moon, but a small cost to pay for such an amazing little side project. Also, throughout the runtime, there was a very unexpected severe thunderstorm that took out the stream twice. <laughs> As you can see, this nine hour stretch here, or sorry, nine hour, probably smaller than that. Let me, let, let, the footage here is more accurate. But thankfully, those were the only forces of nature that really affected my stream. There were a couple of earthquakes throughout the two months, but they were thankfully pretty small. I bet you didn't even notice. But the biggest problem with my live stream was 100% my hardware. There were several moments when the stream would just suddenly cut to black <laughs> because my camera just died from overheating and viewers, I'm sorry, had to awkwardly sit there to a black screen full of lo-fi hip hop. The summer heat unfortunately triumphed over my crappy AC which affected my camera. Also, my laptop, the warrior it is, was also very much affected from the stream permanently running. You might have noticed the lack of uploads, and that's because my editing software, DaVinci Resolve, just came overbearingly slow and frustrating to use that I just didn't feel like making more content. And I'll be honest, Laziness is a, it's kind of a factor too. But in all seriousness, there was a point in which I thought my computer was legitimately going to explode. So <laughs> the stream had to go down for a little bit of time, put it on cooldown. With that being said, my next big purchase is definitely another camera because who doesn't love another camera angle? Is 
what I'd do if I had another camera. Also, I've been thinking of maybe getting like a night vision camera because I feel like that'd be a really cool kind of view. <laughs> Let me know, uh, maybe just a spoiler for the future, but one of my goals is to create a more interactive stream so viewers can switch between the cameras, which sounds very chaotic, but I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Now, one more thing that I definitely need for this stream to really kind of stay 24 seven is a dedicated PC, which hopefully some brand can sponsor. Alienware please but i'll probably need to grow a little bit more before that can become a reality so please subscribe with that being said i'm still very happy with how the stream turned out and all the positive comments that came from it one of the funniest i got was from a probably japanese account but it was just three emojis tree tree monocle <laughs> It was so simple, but effective, and it's admittedly something I need to improve upon. I think what made me like this comment even more was the fact that it got deleted immediately afterwards. It's just like, okay, you had a very valid point. You could have kept it up there and get people talking, but no, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> so, um, yeah, definitely the best way to describe this cage is, I mean, from the looks of it, brown. And in the future, I definitely wanna make more eye-catching, colorful displays that the Beatle will love to call home. With every new season of the Beatle broadcast, I'm gonna make the streams more interactive and engaging and grow this beautiful small community of Beatle buddies. Can I call you guys that? I don't know. <laughs> it's so awesome seeing y'all come together and help each other with Beatle-related questions it's it's so fun it's so cool i love it as long as the stream's up we'll keep doing the daily mushi king guess the beetle challenges and when i can i do plan on introducing prizes to those that win them so doesn't hurt to study although i can't say for certain when the next stream is and what the next beetle is actually comment down below what you want to see in the stream next i'll try to make it happen but i will try to get the stream up and running early to mid-October. Sorry for this break. I've got a lot of big life things happening right now. And I hope you guys don't mind waiting just a little. Regardless, I've got some Western Hercules larvae that's been a growing. So if there's one thing I can guarantee, I will be those beautiful beetles roaming around the cage at some point in the future. Also, be on the lookout for polls from this channel so you can vote which beetles you want me to showcase in streams and of course, in long form videos as well. If you wanna support me or more so the beetles, I'm setting up YouTube memberships, so please join and become an official sponsor or what I'd like to call a producer of the streams. <laughs> There will be plenty of perks, but most of all, emotes. And I plan to make the lowest level $1 so everyone can enjoy the emotes because I think it's ridiculous to gatekeep something like that. Well, I hope you're excited for this channel as much as I am. And thank you all for watching this unusually edited video till the end. There's way too much my face and not enough beetle, I think, for this video, but 2008 Honda Civic says bye-bye.